All right, in this video, I'm going to look at two different methods for adding polynomials, and I'm going to look at problem two. So problem two said to use two different methods to compute this sum. And we have x squared minus 2x minus 9 plus negative 4x squared minus 5x plus 8. And these are both second degree polynomials because the highest power in each of them is 2. Okay, so let's use the vertical method. This time I think I'll just write that first polynomial out. So it's x squared minus 2x minus 9. And then I'm going to write the second polynomial underneath it and I'm going to line up the like terms. So the x squared terms are going to go underneath each other. So minus 4x squared and then minus 5x and then plus 8. Okay, and I'm going to add them up. And now you have to be a little careful here. I'm going to add, so I'm going to put a plus sign there, but that first term has a minus sign. So maybe if you want, you could put it in parentheses if that's distracting to you. Maybe the parentheses are distracting. I don't know. Um, but I just want to make sure that you, you aren't confused with this plus minus here. We're still adding. Okay, so negative 4 plus, and there's really 1x squared here. We don't write the 1, but it's there. So minus 4 plus 1 is negative 3x squared. And then negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7x. And positive 8 plus negative 9 is negative 1. So there's my answer, negative 3x squared minus 7x minus 1. Let's try the horizontal method. I should get the same thing. Okay, so now I'm going to group like terms. I'm going to group the x squared terms together. So I have an x squared from the first one and a negative 4x squared from the second one. You could write plus negative 4x squared. I'm just going to write negative 4x squared to save some space. And then adding, since we're adding them, the next grouping is going to be the x terms. I have a negative 2x and a negative 5x. Again, you could put parentheses around this and make this plus parentheses negative 5x. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to write it this way to save space. And then plus the last terms, we have a negative 9 and a positive 8. Negative 9 plus 8. Okay. x squared minus 4x squared. That's really 1x squared minus 4x squared. 1 minus 4 is negative 3 x squared. And then negative 2 plus negative 5 is negative 7x. And then finally negative 9 plus 8 is negative 1. And you can see we get the same thing using either method.